Hey there guys and welcome back to Alex Invests. Today the markets are closed because it is Monday and it is a holiday in the US and in Canada. But I've got a few interesting things to share with you guys and the first one is the new setup. Now this isn't going to last but for the next month I'm actually staying with my girlfriend. So uh, you know I've got the laptop and the lights and everything I need to film for you guys and keep you updated. Uh, but this will be the setup for the next month so I hope you guys like it. I got the Alex Invest sign in the back here which is pretty cool. But um, anyways, we're going to go over a few things today and um, the first one is just some news on what to expect next week. We're going to go over some of the stocks uh, you know, that I bought last week, where I see them headed, uh, as well as just some other stocks there. And um, yeah, it should be good. So anyways, let's get into it. We're going to start off with this right here. So. You know, last week, this was on February 11th, right? Last week, U.S. Department of Energy announces $100 million for transformative clean energy solutions supporting President Biden's climate innovation agenda. Really good news here, guys, for this clean energy sector. Really good for our hydrogen stocks. Really good for our solar stocks, right? And everything. And we're going to get into some of those specific stocks in a bit here. That's why I wanted to start with this, right? You know, it's interesting here to note as well, the department will participate in the National Climate Task Force's Climate Innovation Working Group, right? This is right here, announced today by the White House. And um, they're looking for game-changing technologies here, right? Game-changing technologies. So we're in some of these game-changing technologies here. And, you know, one of the stocks that really, you know, just pops into my head when I see this right here is actually one you wouldn't expect is sun hydrogen right there basically using uh solar and um making hydrogen with that uh solar power right they basically capture solar in on one side and uh it basically turn it into hydrogen with water as well so very interesting and it is basically a penny stock right now uh but um you know, I could see big things here with this, you know, they, they might actually get uh, something here. And, yeah, you know, this is interesting too. here. First of billions of dollars, we know that, you know, uh, with Biden here and, and everything, we're going to see a lot more of this funding come through for our sort of clean energy stocks here, right? And and it's going to be big, right? This is really just the beginning of, of what they're going to do here for clean energy. I mean, again, they want net zero emissions, right? By 2050, economy-wide through all of US, right? And we've, we've talked about this before, but really, really good stuff here. And again, I just see our clean energy stocks doing so, so well from this. You know, Biden comes on the air once and, and says the words clean energy and all of a sudden our stocks go up, right? So really, really good stuff there too. And another thing to note about this, and it doesn't directly relate to this, but, um, you know, next week we should see a little bit of stimulus update as well. So, uh, you know, we're going to be watching that and I think it's going to be good news there too. January retail sales also come out next week. Not as important as the stimulus, but, you know, it will sort of guide us to see how we're doing uh, in our economy, in our retail sales, obviously, which which relates directly to how our economy is doing as well. So all good things there. Now, the next thing I wanted to show you guys is a few of the stocks, right? And we're going to start actually with OEG here because it's interesting, right? We had this big run and, and we talked about this one, you know, back at the $3 mark back down here uh, first. And, you know, we had these this this crossing here of our um, moving averages here, right? And the green is the 60, this is the 120, right? And and we bounced off there, our, our actual price bounced off the 120 MA as well, which is really big, right? And then obviously we saw this huge run up. And what's interesting to note here is we kind of have this this trend line coming down here. And we've, we've kind of acted, it's acted quite heavily as resistance here. And uh, I think what's going to happen soon is we're going to see our next leg up here, actually, just because of all the things that, that OEG is doing too, right? I, I mean, you know, they're in the solar game, they're in the uh, clean energy game uh, completely here, right? 
And uh, what's amazing is they're actually working on 5G now too, right? And remember, this is a company that basically does the engineering behind the infrastructure here. So you can really get into a little bit of a different kind of uh, field here while remaining in that clean energy space, which is really nice, guys. I highly recommend OEG. I think they are ready again, like I said, for this next leg up here. If we break through this resistance here, right? You know, see, oh, I just moved that, my bad. So come Monday right, or come Tuesday here, right? If we see us break through and, and you know, eventually we are going to break through here, we're going to see that next leg up back to sort of that 1050. And a lot of analysts right now have this one at sort of that $12 range. And, um, you know, what what I really see here is is we, we hit this 1050 mark. And from there, you know, we could consolidate around there. Uh, or, you know, keep moving up to that, that $12, but I don't see sort of the $12 move for a little bit longer, but I do see us hitting that sort of 1050 mark pretty soon here. Um, so, you know, it wouldn't be a bad one to buy some more shares of. Uh, and I'm actually thinking myself of picking up a few more shares here. Um, but of course, you know, there are a few other stocks that I'm looking to pick up here. And uh, we'll, we'll talk about those actually tomorrow. Um, because that's going to be our video for tomorrow, right? So just watch out for OEG. Uh, I think we're going to see some big moves soon. The other thing is we kind of saw the same sort of moves back here, right? If we kind of look, you know, we had a little bit of a, you know, downward thing here coming on. And, and yeah, you know, we broke through and, and we had that next leg up and I think we might see something similar here, like I said. So that's the first one. Then Saragon Networks here, right? I talked about this one last week and, you know, we had that... Um, that earnings report come out and and we came down from it and that's where i bought right around this point right here or maybe just a little bit earlier around here somewhere right and you know we had this kind of a little bit of a consolidation here and then the other super interesting thing to know here is this beautiful you know um falling wedge pattern we have here right and we break through right here and you know we see we kind of have this nice little run here a little bit of consolidation again here and then this kind of is where i believe arc uh, bought some more shares in CN crnt for one of their etfs right and then we see you know we have this nice little run here and um you know, I could see this continue tomorrow, uh, but, you know, either way, this is a long-term hold for me again, guys, so keep that in mind. But I did just want to share this this wedge with you guys here as well, which is a bullish signal, right, for those of you guys who don't know. You know, this one, again, it's a 5G play. It's a longer-term hold for me here, guys, and I again see them doing really, really well. Uh, there is another one that I was looking at as well in the 5G space, GSAT. Um and they also look good. They're on the $2 price range right now, but I haven't added yet. And right now I'm just holding sort of the shares I have in Saragon Network. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna add another 5G play to that because of course, you know, OEG is getting into that 5G play now too, right? So, uh, you know, I do like to choose my favorites. Like I always tell you guys, I don't wanna be uh, too overexposed in a single sector. And, uh, you know, I always like to choose my favorites in each of those. So if you guys are looking to get into this one, I would wait maybe for a little bit of a retracement here first, you know, before we continue upwards. Um, so, you know, around, uh, I would say the, you know, 539 level could be a good spot to get in here. So do keep this one in mind, guys. And then finally, I really just wanted to go over with you guys two other stocks and you know, that's fuel cell energy uh, and plug power, right? And, you know, these two, they've been some of my favorite stocks. You know, if you go back to some of the first ever YouTube videos I made, it's on fuel cell energy and plug power back when they were like $15 for plug and like $5 for fuel cell, right? And I still see them moving higher and yes, they have huge valuations right now. And we, we've, you know, if we look at plug here, we've been in this kind of consolidation now for quite some time. Um, and you know, volume has been coming down a bit, but that just means we might be ready for our next leg up here again, you know, of course, huge, huge valuations, but it's in that clean energy sector. It's in that hydrogen sector. They're doing so much there. They've already got a lot of infrastructure set up. You know, they're the leaders in this space. Uh, it's an expensive stock and, you know, I'm not picking up any more shares right now. 
but you know, you guys have to get into this hydrogen industry somehow because it is going to be a big one in the future. And that's why I honestly still would recommend fuel cell. We're at, you know, the $26 right now and we're at, we had a high of twenty nine forty. But just look at this trend line, right? I mean, you know, we can see where we've been going kind of and see where we're continually going here. And, you know, it's on the uptrend here. And again, we have our 120 ma still below our you know 60 ma and we can see you know we might actually hit the 120 ma here pretty soon and if we bounce off of that that is going to be a big sign to buy fuel cell so that's actually what i would watch out here for to buy fuel cell if we come through the 120 ma i would hold off on buying fuel cell for now but if we bounce off if the price bounces off of the ma and we keep moving up guys i think fuel cell is going to be a big one to purchase there like you know again we're we're with biden here and everything right we're seeing where we're going with this clean energy we saw the 100 million from the department of energy right and we're going to continue to see you know stimulus is going to be part of our clean energy initiatives uh, we're going to see the Department of Energy have more of this funding. Uh, we're going to see Biden otherwise, you know, pr providing some more funding here for this clean energy space. And, you know, it's going to be heavily investing in the hydrogen industry. It's going to be heavily investing in that solar energy, right? And that's why I picked up solar.v as well, right? They've been getting some big, big, big contracts lately. And I think that's just going to continue into the future here. Um, you know, as with all these clean energy stocks, especially in the US, you know, uh, they want to move to less imports and, and you know, kind of have more of those, uh, that production stay at home and using that production that's at home, right? And all of this. So, you know, I really highly suggest you get into at least one hydrogen stock, at least one solar stock. Um, and, you know, I think OEG as well is just a great way to do that because they're in kind of this all encompassing, you know, clean energy space here after they've rebranded themselves. And, you know, uh, being in that kind of engineering space of it all is very, very cool. I think they're they're really a leader in that space as well. Uh, so I think they're going to do really well. But you know what? That's pretty much it for the video today, guys. Uh, I want to keep it not too long again as per usual. So I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys like the new setup as well for the next month. And other than that, I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I'll see you guys tomorrow.